back to the channel, folks. I hope you're all doing well. Um, tr transfer news: three players that have been linked with Celtic, and these are three players that have been linked with Celtic for the last you know about two months now. The first one has been small talk, but now it's starting to look official. Celtic have put a formal interest in for Ryan Sessegno, twenty-year-old English left back, the left winger. You could play as well. Look, he was Fulham's young player of the year two years ago. He helped them get promoted. He's been at Tottenham. Tottenham bought for twenty five million. He's only twelve played twelve games for Tottenham. Can't even get a sniff of fourth team football at the moment. We're looking to get him on loan for the season. There's two ways that we will get him over the line. We have to get European football, guaranteed European football, and meet the wage demands that he wants as well to come up to Glasgow. So we get this boy in. It'd be a fantastic transfer window. Look, it's been brilliant already. We've got Duffy, Barakasi, Yeti, and Mohamed and Lucy and Turnbull. If we get this lad over the line, one of the best transfer windows I've ever seen for Celtic. Big time. So let's see what happens if Jose Mourinho is going to pay a favour, do us a favour, let this boy play because at the moment Mourinho is not doing quite good at Tottenham. He's not playing Deli Ali, he's not playing this lad, you know. They have resources there, but. Who cares about sports? We just need them to do us a favour at the moment. So, yeah, he's been talked to come up north to Glasgow. Another lad that's been um, London-based that's been linked to come to us as well, Alfie Doherty. 20-year-old, Charlton Athletic, left-back. He can play left-back, centre-back. He played 23 times last year in the English Championship for a 20-year-old. Now, Charlton were relegated, so at the moment... They're playing league one football, so we went in with an approach two weeks ago of half a million. It was rejected. We went in for a second bid as well of um eight hundred grand that was rejected, and hopefully we're gonna try get him over the line with a, over a million bid. We get this boy over the line. Charting are st struggling at the moment. Obviously, no fans in the stadium. They they did get new owners, but they need the resources. They need the money. So if we get him over the line, it'd be pretty good. Just a little background on him. He has been, he was Charlton's young player of the year as well, last season. So he looks pretty good. The fans voted him the young player of the year as well. So get him over the line, I would be very satisfied because he has potentially his pace, his power. He's not afraid to get stuck in like some left backs. Some left backs out there that sell the card that are terrified to actually get stuck in. So yeah. And the last one, which I think the deal is not going to happen. I've read up a bit about this one. Um, Omar Kali, I've talked to him previously on the channel. 27 year old Gabian International. He's linked with the club. He scored his fourth goal the weekend for Sandoria after 57 appearances. And Liverpool are sniffing at him. West Ham are sniffing at him. It looks tough. They're, with these teams sniffing at him, Sandoria are going to put the price tag up on him. They're looking to put the price tag up to 14 million. Now they value this lad at 10 million before this interest was emerged from D David Moyes and Jurgen Klopp and whoever is looking at him. There's even Parmas looking at him in Syria. I don't think Celtic are going to get this one over the line. I really don't think. I don't think they're going to wet meet the wage criteria that Liverpool could offer him or West Ham could offer him. So I just think this is a kiss, kiss, good boy. We need to look at somewhere else. We need to look at like maybe get Ben Davis in from Preston North End. He's been previously linked to us. You know, he's still... He's in his 20s. He's a pretty good centre-back. Preston's a tough team. They've, they're very physical team. So he's a good bit of experience. Obviously playing the championship is one of the hardest leagues in the world. As I've touched on this before. Playing what, 48 games in the championship and then a potential playoff. So I get to go for Davis. I don't know what the stories were where. AC Milan said they're not willing to chase Oyer. But if Celtic don't qualify for Europe, fingers crossed we do. I can see Ira being sold because potentially we're losing out 25 million, losing the Champions League qualification and then Europa League. It'd be a disaster for a club like Celtic not to qualify for European football this season. But at the same time, are we willing to sacrifice Europe for 10 in a row? You know, like I just put all my reserves out in Europe. I really would. I don't really, really care. I know Lenny's taking this serious tomorrow, as I touched on the previous video that he's taking as well serious. You know, there's money on stake, especially with a global pandemic. We need as much injection into the club as we can. But let's get these transfers on the line. 
really really need to get them over the line because if we don't sign a left back in this window there is going to be absolute murder Celtic fans will go against Taylor as much as it's not Taylor's fault you know they will go against him he just needs competition you know at this rate I take Emilio Izaguirre back at this rate that's how bad it is you know it's just when we look at left back we haven't replaced Kieran Tierney we haven't you know I know he's world class we can't we haven't replaced him you haven't even gone out a level of replacing him like to get Cess in your name that'd be class that would be absolutely amazing he'd love Celtic imagine Frimpong on the right and him on the left the, the, the absolute pace between the two of them Pfft. terrorising defences you know October 17th them boys in blue they won't have a clue if Sessegnon was playing for Celtic so let's see what happens you know hopefully it's not all dream talk hopefully it's actually a bit of reality we get someone out in over the line that actually has a bit of class so still haven't ruled out the um, Kasper Hoyer daily from AG Kef in Denmark apologies I got that wrong for a second in Denmark yeah we still haven't ruled him out as I said in one of the previous videos he has pace he can take a shot from 25 yards out he's still he's only in his mid 20s so he's a lad that we still should be looking at 1.5 million they're looking for him as well so we have 1.5 million there so why not take the chance so subscribe to the channel let us know what you think comments below we'd be appreciate from the regular people new people you're more welcome to comment below let me know who you'd like to come in left back it's been a decent window as i said duffy turnbull barkas yeti mohammed anusi we get one more in we can be satisfied going into the rest of the season so speeches all soon how hell up the celts